Hello and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 Going East Expansion Pack. This is FS Panda Mushroom. Welcome back. Episode 5 already. Okay, um, there's been another patch, uh, 1.61. So if anybody doesn't know about it, um, there's a little patch. And it also puts in uh, this world of trucks. So basically that's what it's designed for. Uh, you can upload your profile um, and put pictures on there and things like that. So check that out. World of trucks. That's what the 1.16 patch is about. Um, okay. Last time we just finished the job, so we will go in and go to the job market. Obviously anybody that in, because um, we didn't have a job active, um, I don't know where it's put us. it's not our truck but yes if uh, if you were on a job uh, or just taken a job it will park you back into a safe place into a garage or something like that so it sort of resets so it doesn't crash the game so okay let's have a look to see what's around the ones that are uh, Big and bold should be the ones that we've been to. We've not been to Warsaw or Rosklaw or Katowice or Krakow. So let's see. Lots, lots. a longer one hopefully from there to either Krako or Katowice so we take this little one which is going to be transporting peas from Lodz to Warsaw or Warsaw <laughs> I think it's supposed to be So let's take the job. Right. There we are. Travelling with one of them trailers again. We're in our eye of a co. So let's start her up. Gosh, quiet. So I'll put some lights on. I always put the lights on because I'll, I'll get clobbered by, you know, the light police, so to speak. Oh, it's all clear. <laughs> They must know the panda's driving. That's why they're why it's all clear. So 
So hopefully everybody's been fine. This truck sounds a bit fruity. If you can hear it. So yes, they've uh, put this boulder trucks up. I've had a quick look and I've uh, had a register. So it could be, you know, you put your, your game profile in because to register you have to actually put in your game code serial number to verify. Um, there's some, you know, you can upload pictures to your gallery and on the uh, website. And uh, they're just they're just building it. It's by SES, so it's the real deal. could be, could be, because you know, you can then, um, there's a section on there in your own personal profiles where you can upload your avatar and things like that, um, I, I'm not sure whether you can use them in game or, or whatever, it's just for the chat or whatever, or the site. Um, but uh, you can um, also do your own personal number plates and it says it will put it into you know on your truck the next time you play so how long that takes I'm not sure upload, as I say, upload photos to the gallery or for everybody else to see of your truck and things like that. So it, it's the first um, proper website by uh, Euro Truck really. Not a fan one. Because the actual Euro Truck uh, website's not really designed fan based so to speak um, it's more just telling you what it is selling the game and for patches SCS have got that you know give you a little bit more information God, this truck's slow isn't it it's just flat out takes a long time to get going Kind of brakes on all the time. But yeah, it could be. Don't quote me. But it could be the first stepping stones towards multiplayer in Euro Truck. You never know. They want to uh, get multiplayer in, which that would be uh, quite interesting really. You'll get all sorts of contractors and it, it'd be funny, it, it, how will it work? Will you just be running around, you know, um, with trucks in a convoy or taking jobs as normal or can you actually um, choose what sort of you know cargo well you can sort of choose what cargo but what I mean is um, can you say um, for instance 
our warehouse is full of 20,000 pallets of baked beans or something like that, you know. So we've got to deliver them halfway across Europe. So we need a contractor. Is it that sort of thing or, you know, or is it just similar to what we're doing? Um, we just pick a job and drive. be interesting to see how it develops. If it develops, it might not. It might just be, you know, that the fans are crying out for it. And we're hoping that it's going to be um, sort of multiplayer. Whoa, dude. Whoa. How the heck did I miss you? Especially with my driving. Ah, oh, just love them. Bring it on. I have to put concrete bumpers in one, I think. Mod, mod a truck with concrete bumpers so you could just go over the top of them. That teach them, wouldn't it? to speak, chewing the cud or whatever the saying is, just yakking for the sake of yakking, anybody that doesn't know yakking or things, what's he talking about, you know, that's a furry animal sort of thing that, you know, looks like an ox, uh, talking, chin wagging. Just laying it down with the bodies, you know. That was cheap, six euros. Have someone up. And this is only a short journey, it's only going to net us about fifteen hundred quid, but fifteen hundred quid's fifteen hundred quid. <laughs> yeah, repair the truck at some stage <laughs> so every every bit of money helps you know get us a shed load of uh, paint <laughs> for when we get our own truck I uh, bet we have shares in the paint company by the end So yeah, here's the thing for you, in uh, other countries, what sort of uh, sayings have you got for, you know, chatting and things like that? Wow, we've discovered Warsawski. Shooting the breeze, or you know, things like that. Um, because you know, Britain, we're full of little sayings. In other countries, do you have sayings? Yeah, 
I mean cockneys, apples and pears and all that. All that jazz. internet for a full listing and of what uh, sayings there are <laughs> what pointless sayings there are there we are we've finished the job already mm. presenter excellent did we get Oh, we've got a little bit of XP for that. Uh, not quite to level 3 yet. Um, it was only 57 miles. Is that all? Took us 2 hours almost. I said that truck was slow. Um, and we got 1500 quid. So there you go. We continue on. and pick our next target so let's jump straight in the market and see where we're going from here then um, what we got we are at Warzel Warzel so we can go we can go where can we go? Cool, we can go all the way over to the check. Or into Slovakia to go to Kosis. Or check again, Ostrava. I think there's one. Going for the money. Going for the money. So it's so I'm gonna be would that be Barno? Barno? Burno? Oh, I'm not having a good time at these pronunciations, am I? Was our was? Zawa, Ozawa, and Burn. Burn out. There, oh, we can have a go to crack a little short one again. We Go short and then the next episode we're trying to take one a bit longer. So what we got this time? Oh we got let's have a look outside. Yeah. Soil or iron ore, I think it is. Again, turn the lights on. There's Eddie Stobart lorry by the side of us. Just leaving Eddie Stobart's place. See, Eddie, he, he travels all over Europe and he's got all that. What's big European? companies. Oh dude. Big lorry moving out. Driving a 
scanning yard this time. So here's a program on our telly, Eddie Stobar, you know, where he follows some of his drivers. <laughs> it's interesting sometimes, I guess. But Eddie, he's been around for quite a few years now. He's quite as it got. He's got sort of a cult following now. Has done for years. You know, he names his trucks and. You can buy little models of Eddie Stobard and things like that. Eddie Stobard lorry freezer pack, nine ninety nine. Or twenty Tiger Frost tokens for your free Eddie Stobart lorry. <laughs> I don't know, just stuff like that. You get sad when you get to be a panda. trailer seems to wander a little bit. These trucks seem to be struggling with these trailers a bit. I thought they were supposed to, you know, gear them up to the actual lorry. You know, the trailers to the lorry, so you get a good fair whack at it. I do. Big truck. The trouble you're in two lanes, and all of a sudden, woof, one lane. Needs is some black ears, black eyes, and a black nose. And what you got? <laughs> you got a panda scania. around a bit, don't they, these buses. Now would that be a normal, you know, just bus or would it be a continental one, you know, that goes all over, especially souped up? You know, comfort and all that lot. Whoa, here we go. Whoa. That was not good. Almost tipped it. No warning that the load was going then. Ah, dear. Yeah, but if I drove normal, you know, it'd be boring, wouldn't it? You know, nothing happening, me yakking all the time. You've got
got to have the old smash up. I thought everything was going along tickety boo. And then all of a sudden, oof, it just went. Oh yeah, just pull out, mate. Oh, and it's raining. It doesn't rain much on Euro Truck, does it? <sighs> yeah, I wondered if you were going to stop. I know you can turn the probability of rain down, um, but you turn it down, it still rains. It, it doesn't alter it that much, I don't think. I do a little bit, but on the grand scheme of things, no. It's like this game was set in Britain, always raining. Even though it's supposed to say Euro Truck, the weather's taken from Britain. Euro truck with British weather. That's what I should say. Rain. And then again. If it didn't rain all the time or it wasn't cold or anything like that. What would us British people talk about? Because everybody always says we always talk about the weather and moan about it. It's beer. Football. Rugby. The Royals. What else do British people talk about? Yo, Eddie. Eddie Stobart. <coughs> it's built into our culture, though, the weather. Roadworks. We're always talking about roadworks, especially on motorways, because there's always roadworks. And if you're going anywhere on holiday, summertime, you're guaranteed to get some roadworks, because I'm sure that they leave it till the summer and think. We get them. You know, you're going to the seaside. What happens? You're towing your caravan and get stuck in 20 miles of traffic jams because they've decided to resurface the road. Or you know, why couldn't they do it out of season? They know when the season is. The only advantage if you're towing your caravan, and I've seen this, you just pull into a lay-by and you, you get your picnic table out and 
yeah, your scones and your pot of tea and there you are watching everybody in the traffic jam while you're having a cuppa and a scone. Yeah. And now I haven't got a caravan. Son, is it? Is it stopping? So, uh, how many of you have uh, got to go East Expansion then? What do you think to it so far? I think it's alright. I think they've made a nice job of it. Um, I think SDS haven't finished with with it by all means. Um, I think they're really pushing forward. I think now, and they're gonna, you know, think of what they're gonna do next. This uh, obviously, you know, they've got good intentions because they've done this World of Trucks uh, website. So they're pushing it forward all the time. So yeah. All good. So that's one of the uh, real mods, you know, real truck mod things that I've got installed by uh, Reef. Um, if you go on to uh, ETS2, Net, I think it is. No, dot com. I apologise. If you go, if you, I will have a look for the website properly for you and tell you next time. I've said it before. It's by the FS UK guys, so if you're struggling, you can go through that side of it. I apologise for not remembering the website. Well, it's quite 
quite a few. I mean, even if you just go and you put in um, ETS2 mods, you'll get a list. And uh, if that's what you want, you can mod. Mod your Euro truck. There's all sorts of things out there. Lorry skins and uh, there we are, we've discovered it, have we? Yeah, Krakow. sorts of mods out there if you want to look. There's realistic mods, there's skins for different trucks. I think there's even a couple of maps out there if you really want to do that. Um, real trailer skin mods and all sorts. I've only got a couple in here so Destination. Okay, see, because he's in the game, he can go through no entry signs at the end of the road. Destination. Just going forwards, I know. There you go, press enter. Good work, 159 miles, it took us 4 hours 31 minutes. Fuel consumed was 127 litres. We got 290 XP for that um, gone up a level by well, looks things level 3 um, 2% penalty on that damage 267 quid they took off me uh, dear but we earned three and a half thousand just over three and a half thousand so yeah we're up a level um, I'm going to go distance again because um, we can get a bit further, we, we'll get the higher priced later on and I will call it for this episode and next episode we'll jump in and find a new job and see where our truck takes us. This is FS Panda Mushroom, thank you for watching.